Hey ladies, and welcome to our first riding prompt of 2021. We finally made it to the long year that was 2020, and I hope that this year brings better tides for you and yours at home. And I hope that winter break was at least a little bit relaxing and a little bit refreshing, and that you're at least somewhat ready to get back to it. Because I think that the new year can provide a lot of great opportunity to sort of establish some goals that we want to accomplish in the next 12 months. I know there was the big thing of like the new year's resolution and all that, but even beyond that, just thinking about some different things that you want to try, especially in your writing, for example, you know, can be really helpful in sort of setting some goals and setting some sort of tasks that you want to accomplish and knock over by the end of the year. You know, maybe a way of doing this is, you know, what kind of different style do you want to try? What kind of different challenges do you want to overcome? What kind of, you know, writing do you want to pursue? Do you want to change your style? Or do you want to write something a little bit more long form? All these different sorts of things. I know for myself, one thing that I'm really focusing on this year is I want to focus on writing more honestly. And I want to focus on incorporating my real life experiences into my fiction writing. I think that we all already kind of do this to some extent because think about, you know, if you write about a feeling that a character is experiencing, for example, oftentimes you're going to be drawing that off of your own real life experience. You know, so if a character is feeling sad, you're going to think about a time that you were feeling sad and then sort of use that feeling that you were feeling at that time and incorporate it into what the character may be feeling and what you kind of think the character might be feeling at that time. So. I think that this can be really important because it provides a really nice, ground, realistic base for the audience to connect to. Because let's say you write a story where the character goes through a massive breakup at the beginning of the story, and they you know get their heart broken, and they kind of go through all these feelings that anyone does during a breakup of you know like missing the other person, of not wanting it to end, all these different sorts of things. And then let's say that that story then takes them on a journey across the country or takes him to another world even. Now, while all of that stuff may not have happened to you personally, that initial breakup scene may have. And the sort of feelings that come with that may have. And so then you're able to draw off your real life experiences in that case. And I think that that can be really great because, you know, experiences like that, for example, are things that we all go through. They're very shared human experiences, right? So when somebody else is kind of reading about what that character is feeling, they're able to connect to it and to relate to it because they think, oh, you know, I've kind of gone through a similar thing. And then now, as a writer, you've now got the reader sort of connected with the character and along for the ride. So even if later on in the story the character does some wild stuff that the you know the reader has never even thought about doing in their life, they're going to still be connected with that character because they have that initial bond of that shared human experience at the beginning, right? So I kind of wanted to tie that into our writing prompt this week. And what I wanted our writing prompt to be about was, since you just got back from winter break, I want you to take an experience that you had over winter break. It can be good or bad, happy or sad, positive or negative, anything that you want it to be. And, you know, you, I want you to kind of write it almost in that memoir style that we referred to in the last video, but even as like a basic journal entry. And another thing, you know, say if maybe when a break was a little bit boring and you didn't have a lot of stuff going on, you can extend the timeline back a little bit, but try to pick something like a little bit more recent, enough for you to remember all of the details that came along with that and all of the feelings that you would have been experiencing, all right? So I want you to take that experience and I want you to write that out, almost like a memoir or a journal entry, something like that, but it, where it's very much your perspective. Then I want you to take that experience and I want you to rewrite it, but this time from the perspective of a character. And you can change things like the setting, like the, obviously the character, who's experiencing it, and all of these little different things surrounding the feeling and surrounding the experience. But I want you to try to keep that feeling and that experience as close to each other as you possibly can, but yet different enough to where you can tell where one is fictional and one is the real life account. And I think that that can be a really great way to sort of compare contrast on 
how to incorporate your own real life experiences into fiction without it simply being a sort of copy page of your experience. All right? And that's it. That's the first writing prompt of 2021. I kind of wanted to keep it a little bit more simple and straightforward since I know a lot of us, you know, our brain is just starting to turn back on and I'm sure a lot of you are just starting to get geared up for school. So I didn't want to start the year off with anything too drastic, but I think that this can be a really great way to sort of start off whenever we're writing a story with basic feelings and basic shared human experiences and it can allow for a lot of us to write more honestly. So with that, Happy New Year. I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're staying healthy. I hope you're staying well. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a great week and enjoy. Happy writing.